Hey guys, welcome back to Angel Angela. Guess where we're at today in this virtual reality world? We're in Paris, France. I've always wanted to go there. You know, I just haven't got to it. <laughs> I haven't got to it yet. Um, but I wanted to come on here, you guys. I had a message to um, talk about, you know, something that just, it was one of those situations where it just, something happens in front of you and and you're like, you know what? That's a good message to send for the day, you know? And that's never turn your back on the narcissist. Never turn your back on the narcissist. I've done it many times. They're predators. They've been breadcrumbing you. They've been feeding off of you. Imagine an animal that needs fuel it needs your existence to feed on an energy vampire that's feeding off of you you're in love with it you're in love with the beast the mark of the beast is the narcissist that artificial intelligence that knows what to say to have you sacrifice your own self more and more you know, you turn your back on them. You forgive them over and over again. You feel like this person is always around. They're always there. If I can call them now, even though we're not talking, they might give me the time of day to talk to me. Because see, the narcissist doesn't feel anything. No regret, no remorse, no empathy, no sympathy. They're just like, hey, I fed off of you before. You're giving me the opportunity to probably feed off of you again. And just you answering to me. I'm feeding off of you, but not completely. I need you to invite me in again. I need you to invite me through your door. And the more time you spend playing their game, you're becoming ill. You're becoming sick. They're draining you slowly. You know why? Because they're predators. What does a hunter do when it hunts its prey? When it's hunting that deer, you're like a deer in the, hair, in, in the headlights, right? What does that hunter do? It analyzes, it studies that animal. It takes its time because it only has one chance to go in for the kill. So they'll hoover because all they need is for you to open that door to go for the kill and you wonder why you feel worse every time. You wonder why you can't heal because you haven't even give you, given yourself enough time to heal those wounds. And even when you heal those wounds, the narcissist is like, you have more blood in your veins, you're still alive. I can, that means I, you know, I can tell you whatever you wanna hear, but guess what? That means I can still feed off of you. You're not dead. You feel like the narcissist wants you dead. That's because they won't stop at nothing to keep that behavior going, to keep deceiving you, that to keep dropping that mask and laughing at you, pointing their finger, you know, holding their stomach, laughing out loud. LMAO, you know, they're laughing. Because you know what? You turned your back on the predator. Never turn your back on a narcissist. It's like a fly trying to get in your house and your doors open and you slap it away. You know you're stronger than that fly. You know you can squash that bug. You know you, know you could slap that fly and it's over for him. You know? You know you can close that door so that it won't come in anymore. Let it go its separate way. You might not even want to kill it. You're just like, go your separate way. I just don't come in the house, you know? But what does that fly do? It, it comes back. It keeps trying to come back. It doesn't matter how small you think the narcissist is. You know, It doesn't matter how broke you think they are. They feel like they they can go against you. They feel like anytime you're 
refusing to talk to them, they feel like, yeah, that's what you're saying. You're all bark. No action. I'm all action. I've been barking, barking, barking too, like you. But guess what? I've been all that. I've been all action on you. Because I don't turn my back on my prey. And you could build yourself up. You could be strong. You could feel like you can spot a predator, right? You're like, oh, I could spot a predator coming. But if this person, the people closest to you come back and say, I'm sorry, and they shed tears and, you know, they act remorseful. Or you feel like you have an obligation to this person because of your history. That predator is going to say, oh, they still don't get it. You know, they know how this thing goes. They know that once you become a, a prey to them, you'll always be that. Because I already stuck my fangs into you. And you didn't do nothing. I did it a lot of times. You just woke up and realized how painful it is. Wake up. Peekaboo, I'm here. I'm not going to stir you the wrong way. I'm telling you the truth. You know? Like, straight up. That's what's going on. And you don't want to believe it because someone took so much energy out of you. You almost, it's like you're drugged up and you're weak. And you're like, you just came out of a coma. And you're like, where am I? What happened? Am I alive? Did this person kill everything inside me? What's going on? Will I always be this way? Because I am drained. But I'm still here. I'm alive. Oh my God. I almost thought they were going to kill me from all the stress and the drama and the confusion and the gaslighting. And now you know where the predators are. You know to stay away. You know to stay safe. You know to stay indoors. You know not to go to be involved in certain t situations because it's not worth it. You know how to focus. You know how to put your priorities straight instead of just thinking about fun in the narcissist world. Because you know that in, in those places, there's nothing but narcissists roaming around feeding off of people. And those people think that they're making their own choice. But they're running off of that artificial intelligence. The narcissist is a virus feeding off of them to stay alive. They're transforming in whatever they have to transform after they 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 suck that fuel up. Now they have enough energy to transform. Transformers out here. And they've studied so many people that it's like. And, you know, they listen to all this stuff. They listen to these videos. And that narcissism says, you know what? There's all these people talking about me. Yeah, they're right about a lot of things, but they I can tell the story better than them. I can I can tell them this information better than they than they can know themselves because they're I know that a lot of them are confused. So they're going to thank me. They're going to thank me. They don't know how you feel. So no, they can't give you certain tools. They don't have the keys. I'm sorry, narcissist. You don't have the keys. You're an artificial intelligence. You don't know what it feels like. You think you do because you're in pain. But the same people you hurt are in pain. Even more because they're giving you everything and you still don't appreciate it. They're trying their best and it, it's not, their best is never going to be good enough. No one's best is ever going to be good enough for you. No one's trust, no one's loyalty, no one's nothing is ever going to be good enough for you because you're nothing but an artificial intelligence. You adapt to times you morph you're a chameleon 
You give people hope that there's a possibility that you can change if you do the work. Yeah, you can change into a, a greater chameleon. You're right. You're right. One that can go undetected and, and one that people can feel like they're, that, that predator is not so harmless because they're not just going out feeding on the whole city at once. You know, they find the weakest link and they feel like, oh, you're not going to make it out alive anyway. I'll feed off of you. Your life isn't. Your life is shit. My life is better than you. Who are you to tell people this? And a lot of times these narcissists, they're not worth two pennies to rub together. Let's be real. And you realize you've been just giving them energy for free. Because everything is transactional with them. So they feel like they're nice and full. They feel like, oh, you gave me enough energy for a lifetime. I'm going to remember you. You know, you're tasty. If I ever know that you, you've filled yourself up and you're still alive and you're Hey, I thought you would have destroyed yourself by now. You look good. You know, people, you don't see them after a while. They're looking at you like, oh, wow, you look good. I thought you would have let yourself go by now. What kind of compliment is, is that? What kind of compliment is that? What kind of compliment is that? You know? You ignore it. You ignore these people's, these people's, you know, sarcasm. That per that predator is not playing with you. That predator is not playing with you. You you keep turning your back on these people. You've done it many times before. Why? Because you're afraid people are gonna you know think that you're a bad person because you you're not willing to get played. Someone who's real and honest is going to respect that you have value for yourself. You might feel like, well, that's hard to find. Yeah, th that is. So why would you ever think that the narcissist pred predator will ever get the type of supply that they had with you right away? The same way. No, they have to work for it. They have to come out the pocket. They wanted that good job so bad, but guess what? They're still broke because now they have to impress someone. And they're reckless. And they participate in a lot of illegal activity. Because in their world, there is no rules. They're like, in, in my world, we're not programmed by society. We're not programmed by artificial intelligence, but yeah, artificial intelligence created you to be that way and feel that way and feel like you're a real person, but you don't have fe feelings and that's what makes you not a human. That's what makes you not real, as real as you think you are. That robot, that artificial intelligence robot believes it's real. It believes it's powerful. And it destroys itself slowly. It's a virus. It's corrupt. It knows it's going out. You know. And it just want. It just needs that electricity to just stay on. They're like, I I'm just happy with just staying on. I gotta do what I, I gotta take people's light in order for me to do that. And the empath gets so drained. The, the empath is giving its light up. It's like, I'm going to just give my light up. This world is fucked up. Just take it. Take my light. Fuck it. You know? Shit. What else is there? There's nothing more, you know, to give. You know? You're that deer on the floor, you know? Bidding. You're like, I don't know if I'm going to make it. I don't know if I'm going to get to see Paris. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I'm 
just saying. I'm saying, but I'm not. I'm saying. I mean, I don't mean to say it, but I'm saying it because it's the truth. You know, um, that's the reality. It's that you cannot turn your back on a predator. Once that predator, that animal has labeled you as a prey, it's going to keep attacking. It's going to study you. It's going to wait for you. It's going to go to the same places that you used to go together. It's going to think about you. What it's like to feed into you again. Not to love you. It doesn't love you. It doesn't have emotions towards you. It doesn't matter what it's saying to you. It's a siren. It's singing, calling you in to think that you had something. But that siren has flipped a lot of men over that boat. It's not just you. You weren't the first. You won't be the last. You know? And it's going to get harder for the narcissist to feed off of people because that artificial intelligence is kicking in on them too. They can spot them. They can spot that old version. You know? The new version can tell the old version is a narcissist. It, it knows all the data. And the narcissist doesn't want to give that new version its credit that they know things that they don't know. And the narcissist needs to feed off of those people too. To stay connected. And then they won't let go. Once they bite into you, anyone... That's what people don't get. It, it doesn't have nothing to do with just relationships. Once they bite into you, they want to keep biting into you. And that's just what it is. You have emotions that they do not feel for you. They don't look at the world the way you do. They understand how you view it. But to them, it's a fairy tale. So um, I'm sending you guys lots of love and you know, if you guys enjoyed this topic, please do not forget to like, share, subscribe if you guys are new. And if you guys want to book a session with me, my booking information will be on the description. As always, I'm sending you guys lots of love, light, and peace. And I'll talk to you guys on the next one. Bye.